Hey, what's going on guys, it's Draco. And today we're going to be playing a game called Outcore, which is a game almost entirely played from your desktop. Here we are on my desktop. What the hell is this? It minimized my OBS too, which is a pain in the ass. So this is my actual desktop, by the way. This Nazi flag has an explanation. It was uh, it was for a joke. Your file. Uh, would you like the file of the names of children in my basement? No. That's, that's weird. All right, obviously you need uh, this data because I've never seen this in my life. Yep, it's doing something. There's this small little girl on my screen now. Hello. It must be wonderful having this place all to yourself. Yeah, this entire beach. Yes, I use a default desktop background, by the way. Until you gave it to me, I didn't even remember my own name. Well, that might be your own issues. I'm not a psychiatrist. Will you help me? find my other files i guess next file location is i don't know i'm not sure about the exact location but i can sense its presence in a place called my computer quick access can you get us there all right i, I have some homework in here and do you want this jpeg file no that was for the thumbnail that's right oh god it could literally be anywhere this is every video i've ever edited right here the documents is the worst place to be there there's no organization here at all oh here it is it's in the l section oh my god it was so hidden between all these there's no way this was like not meant for me to completely troll me all right the files encrypted so we're gonna have to figure out a way to decrypt it Oh my god, is that a bomb? Look at that, there's a keyhole in the shape of a star. Here, let me try something. We're gonna create one. Oh yeah, okay, just open up Microsoft Paint. That's totally within your boundaries. Could make the shape of a star, right? Would that work? Okay, that was easy. Oh, hold on, butterfingers. I feel like a toddler doing shape puzzles. It's not dense enough. Try filling your shape with more pixels. Okay. All right, I drew like an imbecile inside of the star. Hopefully that will work. There we go, that worked. Now it obviously looks like a spaceship and absolutely nothing else. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty sus of you to say. I have no clue how I'm going to do it all. I, I cannot draw freehand, especially on mouse. There's no way. What if I just... Just took a snip of it pasted it over here okay so this will work oh it's not gonna work because of the gray box around it okay but at least i have the correct shape all right i think this will work i freehanded this pretty well i had to actually lock in and like try to do a good job because i'm just terrible at freehand and it will work yeah, that was terrible but i there's probably a lot of room for error for imbeciles like me all right this is just a, a square so take a picture of the square snip it out oh there we go weird the last one was surprisingly easy no i think you're just trolling me at this point all right but we opened up the safe what was inside of it other than trying to show off my skin complexion jesus christ i now have the ability to open my file before we open my memory i got a question i couldn't help but notice that uh is that a camera wait <laughs> no way are you recording me right now no. Oh, no, don't tell me you're one of those perverts. No, 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 no. Got it. This is not what it looks like, I swear. Doesn't look good that I have a uh, folder named Names of Children in my basement. Yeah, I've heard all about those perverts. I heard they like turning girls into pillows, probably to improve their sleep quality. I don't want to become a pillow. Though you did help me so far, so I guess you're not interested in turning me a pillow. Yeah, that's for... Timmy over there. Timmy, shut the fuck up! Haha, uh -huh, sorry about that. Let's continue. When you're ready, just drag me into the memory window. You ready? Just gonna get you in there. Excited to learn about more about Lumi's past and how the hell she ended up on my desktop getting recorded. This is Lumi. Her biggest wish is to leave the underground and explore above. So her world is considered the underground and the above is my desktop. Today's Lumi's 18th birthday, which means she can finally decide her own fate. That could get very dark very quickly. Hey Lumi, do you want to go on an epic adventure today and make your dream come true? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Who the hell is this? Some man just blew up my bedroom wall. Band played for me on my 18th birthday, I think? Oh, it's her dad. Okay, this is weird. I'm not dad, I'm Captain Tutorial. What are you wearing? Have you been watching too much anime again? She's wearing, like, the exact same outfit. She's the one who brought up body pillows, so maybe she's been watching too much anime. I'm here to make sure you are ready for your adventure, and we'll begin by teaching you how to move. Candy-themed obstacle course. This is a funny way to learn me into a trap dad see you on the other side all right see you dad bye bye where does that hook on to yep see there's spikes all over the place my dad's trying to murder me i don't have a mouse in my hand i have a controller this thing right here no oh, i figured it out it's r1 okay blue orb thing restores your dash oh this is gonna be getting extremely complicated isn't it oh but there's gelatin 
not a fan of gelatin. And I mean that in real life. Like, gelatin is just such a weird texture I, I can't stand in my mouth, or even the look of it. But I know I'm the weird one, and gelatin probably tastes delicious. Clear the obstacle course. I'm so proud. Thanks. Now, as an impressive as it may be, you will not get to the surface just by walking. I need something to protect myself out there. That's why you need the tutorial glove. The tutorial hat. Yeah, you heard it right. The tutorial hat. See, the tutorial hat is everything you need to help you on your journey. But why tell you when I can show you how awesome it is? Let's watch a commercial showcasing the tutorial hat. <laughs> what the hell is this? The developer actually recorded like a random video in his bedroom with sock puppets. Wow, how did you get this hat? Why, I'm glad you asked. All I need to do is pay a certain amount of score points, which you can collect from this challenge I've set just up for you. Playing a pinball machine now? Now that Lumi's 18, she can now gamble her life away. The recommended price of the tutorial hat in regular retailers is 2,000 score points, and the discounted price is usually 1,000 score points. But hold on, unbelievable. I've just been told that we've got a new deal for you, Lumi. 5,000 score points. Let's see what the crowd thinks. You can do it, Lumi. Oh, he just shoves a piece of paper over his face. I think he has split personality disorder mixed with some sort of schizophrenia, because this is just one weird morning my dad has put me through. So not only am I gonna get robbed and gamble my life away, I'm gonna probably have a major concussion being thrown around like this and teleported to an alternate dimension? What is this? Extra 500 points, I think? Okay, I guess I'll take it. Yeah, I kind of can. T just 25 points at a time. Or like Vin Diesel says, I live life quarter mile at a time. I've never watched a Fast and Furious movie in my life. Well done, Lumi. You successfully earned 5,000 or more points. Your hat will be delivered to you in 12 business days. What? Stop right there, villain. Now my dad's gonna kill me. You're the one who put these people in burning buildings, aren't you? No, not at all. Before I annihilate you, let's hear what the crowd has to say. Oh, they're screaming in terror because they're all burning to death. But before I defeat you and save them, I must change my to my battle suit. And now I'm watching my dad get changed in front of me at 18 years old. Oh, oh, dude, put that away, ew. Wow, he's actually trying to murder me. I'm your only daughter. Oh, now he's throwing cars at me. People own those vehicles. Oh my God, he's gonna make dozens of people's insurance rate go up. And in America, that happens to be a lot. Please stop, dad. The insurance rates are going through the roof. Dad, you're a psychopath. I'm glad I can now go to the above world or whatever and meet random people on the internet. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to float up in the air now and then hit him midair. And I fell on the only two stars on the entire screen. Jesus Christ, Dad, calm down with the laser vision. You know what happened to Mom, and that's why she's not around anymore. Okay, now that we've endured an act of domestic violence, I think we've completed the tutorial and killed my father. All right, he's He's not- he's giving me more memories, I think. I'm trying to read it as fast as I can while also skipping the conversation at hand. Can't use a controller on a desktop. And you minimize my OBS again. Why the hell did you do that? Oh god. I just realized that means you know my dad now. He once saw a TV show called Mr. Chef and decided that he's a world-class chef artist. He ended up burning our house down. Three times! Oh, so I'm gonna have to write my own script, I'm guessing, for this. Oh, Jesus. I have some very minor programming experience from, like, classes and stuff that I've taken, but I don't know if I have the patience for this right now. Please play this game for me. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. I do not want to give it a try. I'm 100% sure. You know, I think we learned something here today. The secret to capitalism. Thank you, Lumi. So while we wait together, here's a question. Do you like eating food? No, I prolong my existence by consuming pure electricity. Let's decrypt your memories now. Did you enjoy playing the idol game? Yes, it was all right. I enjoyed watching you do it for me. What the hell are you doing now? Okay, could you please calm down? You're gonna run into something. Feckin' robot dog. He's got a light bulb for a tail. He's a half robot, half mutant, half dog possessed by the soul of a handsome ancient demon lord. That's three halves, Lumi. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, what the hell? You just shit on my desktop. You have no right. Yeah, what's he doing now? Is he eating his fecal matter? Oh, no, he just made it explode with a laser tail thing. All right, so my dad is waking me up. It's time for work. Is this child labor? I'm currently in the mines bringing home coins. Slaving away. I think this is slave child labor, which I do have experience myself in at least managing it because of uh, Fable 3, which was a fantastic series, by the way, which you should check out. So poor Lumi here in the underground lives the exact same day every day and it's getting really boring which you can imagine why 
is she the only free thinker out of the whole place, though? She talks to dogs. Time to start another day. Oh, who the hell is this? How was your adventure? Was Booty's lair big and awesome? What? Dad won't be happy if we don't bring some coins to eat for dinner. So, coins aren't for currency, they're for eating? What are you doing, sis? This is against our code. You can't do that. We can't be happy at work. Oh. POV, you're a toddler watching a bookshelf drop in your head. Yeah, what? My sister's leaving again to go to the world above. I, I would love to come with you, but you're not inviting me for some reason. Okay, you can't wait until I'm 18 and bring me with you? Dumbass. Selfish. The same food, the same people, the same events, the same dad, the person who has never once wished to experience anything new. Why don't we run off together? Run off? Yeah, let's explore. All right. The world above. Yes. Oh, Booty the bootlegger. He's an actual boot. Wait, did you just say booty? You look nothing of what Ophelia told me. You're more like a shameless ripoff. See, this number, this is your score. It is directly tied to your credit card. All they have to do is play a little sum of score points and your investment will grow tenfold. Uh, I think I'm getting scammed by this bootlegger man. Uh, sure, sounds legit. Must be a good deal. I just gave him a thousand dollars. Use your face to catch as many chainsaw shirk and shaped investors as you can. Okay, I'll try my best. Oh, I missed them all. Are you trying to kill me? So he did trick me into trying to take my credit card to save his family. Yes, the truth is I'm actually part of the royal family. Ah, I see where this is going. He's the prince of a random kingdom of bootland. Yeah, I see where this is going. But say no more, bo booty. You can have my credit card as long as it's saving your family. Here you go, pal. I think he's buying some V-Bucks with my credit card. Oh, hey, booty. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's just dressed up as a pimp. He looks like Zemos from uh, Saints Row three that's what he looks like right now must be caused by some sort of automatic anti-fraud system oh yeah i guess the credit card company stopped their purchases say could you please call your credit card company and ask them to unblock the credit card yeah sure hold on all right i am now officially out of money oh a, <laughs> a brand new car who the hell is that driving is that your valet or chauffeur say spongebob how about you go around and park the car for me i think you're the fake one around here you want to go beyond the underground and explore the world above you call me a fake and yet you're nothing but a slave to someone else's desires all right now he's going to attempt to kill me i think we're on to our second boss battle of the game and Perfect fashion. POV, you're fighting the homeless crackhead behind the gas station. <laughs> the little sponge robs are starting to run around. Oh, they got it. suicide vests on. What the hell? Uh, oh, oh, wait. I'm supposed to jump off the sponge rob and jump at the TV. Okay. Maybe Loomy is the schizophrenic and she's having all these fake memories to make me think of this way i don't know he's grown wings for a mere boot he's quite talented all right i think this is the final hit is he dead now i think i got him oh no i think he's still gonna use more crackhead wizard powers what the hell is going on now oh god this is when the platforming begins isn't it like a lava pit full of sponge robs what have you done to him there we go i think i'm about to kill the kill him this has actually gone really really quick so far oh except for spongebob just dropped me off and murdered me that's okay though oh it spawned me up to the top and like practically gave me the kill nice where the hell are we now the grand canyon when <laughs> he's just crying now all right i'm bringing booty to my desktop i guess now nah, let's look for your files later i think i've had enough for now Lumi. and i think that's where we're gonna end it today as well with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed if you are new consider subscribing and in the meantime check out some more of my videos here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace